What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We are gonna be going camping in this one and testing out the capability of the iPhone camera's night mode. We're gonna see if we can get some Milky Way photos if that's even possible and compare it to a full frame Canon EOS RP. I got Jordan and Cole with me. I pointed completely wrong, Jordan and Cole with no, me. No, I'm Jordan. That's Jordan and that's Cole. Mm -hmm. It's gonna I'm be a good trip. supposed to be here. <laughs> well, we are here at our campsite. Pretty cool. There's the sky where the stars are gonna be. Yeah, we got a little project to do here. This is gonna be the new cat house. Yeah. We got our fire, We're gonna cook up some hot dogs soon. The sky is getting a little bit darker, so we'll be doing some stargazing. Roasting some wieners and popping some corn over the fire. Yeah. Well, it's getting a little darker. Almost time for the ghost stories. Stars are gonna be coming out soon. I never checked the weather yet to see if it's gonna be cloudy out tonight or not. But I'll put a photo on the screen of just a little quick test with the night mode on this phone. Okay, so it's really dark, as you can see. I'm only lit by the light. So I have my camera. I'm gonna try to take some star photos and see how they turn out. And then I will try the iPhone. Took some pretty crazy photos. I didn't expect to get these kind of photos I got. It clouded over just after we were done taking the photos. I'm actually pretty amazed with the photos that came out of the phone. Although I do think, you know, the camera is a lot better. It's a full frame sensor, but it is pretty amazing what you can get with just your phone. So I'm at home reviewing the photos on the large screen. And I will say, looking at the iPhone photos, they are really incredible. I was amazed that I could pull my phone out of my pocket, put on a tripod, take a nice long exposure like that. But one thing I learned very quickly is that the Canon camera is much better than the iPhone. And that's because the iPhone has to put on a hard noise reduction. And what that does is it eats some of the stars because it thinks that it's grain. Whereas the Canon camera, has a better quality photo for low light, so it doesn't have to put a noise reduction. The Canon camera also has a large sensor and that allows for more light to be in. So first I'm gonna put up the iPhone photos. This is unedited, no effects, brightened up a little bit and it looks actually pretty cool. Now you'll notice that these Canon photos are much sharper than the iPhone photos. Here's the unedited Canon photo, and here it is brightened up. And now here is a side-by-side -side with the iPhone and the Canon. You can clearly see which one is the winner here, but one of them is a professional camera and the other one is a phone that's always in your pocket. So I think that the iPhone did an amazing job in this video. And you know, if I want to take some nice photos of the stars just to show people or something, it's nice. But if I want to take some photos of the stars to frame and hang on my wall, I'm going to lean towards the Canon camera. Also, one cool thing about this video, it was all shot on the iPhone 11 Pro. If you like this video, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button down there. And as always, one like and I will give you stargazing. Thank you. 